Hello everybody, welcome back to Star Wars Galaxies Legends. Gainsby here. Today I'm going to be showing you what to do with all those starfighter parts that you get out there in space. Alright, so, welcome back. Aside from all whatever it is you might decide to do in Star Wars Galaxies Legends, if you fly, it's worth it to hold on to your starfighter parts. And if you're a pilot, it gets even more detailed than that. So this is um, a structure that I have here in our guild city. Um, our guild's ace pilot starfighter lounge, Cloud Nine. And this little area here, this vendor, is where I sell high dollar parts. She's got nothing for sale right now because that's just the luck of the draw in space sometimes. However, I actually do have a lot of high dollar parts laying around, but I'm actually saving them for myself since I do reverse engineer my own starfighter parts. But what I want to show is starting with this structure. This box right here. Uh, it says prime starfighter parts, and to give you guys an example, let's open it up and take a look. Not everything in here is a prime starfighter part, but primarily these two are really good pieces of armor that I'm going to keep for myself. Pilots um, may drool over those, they're pretty darn good. The mass is high, so you need to find a really low mass to reverse engineer those, which is super, super rare. Aside from that box, we have a little special projects box I'm working on for a reverse engineer. This tool chest has more starfighter parts on it. This is basically starfighter parts that I reverse engineer. And that trader's backpack. So as I look at things, whatever the cursor is, is above, you can see the name of there. So let's go to my other structures and we'll check it out. Aside from the Cloud9 Ace Starfighter Pilots Lounge, we have this little house here. There's just four boxes in here, but they're all for Starfighter parts. I still have to organize them, but if I'm doing any like duty missions or something, or I'm out there in space and I'm getting a lot of parts, I'll come here to drop stuff off. They're all empty right now, because I'll throw things in here if I'm going to head back up to space. That way my inventory is just empty and I can go back out and just collect more parts. And what I'll do is I'll go through these after I'm done, when I get time. Because it does take time to go through. You have to do each individual Starfighter part. And you can see from one of the previous episodes there, there's a identifying Starfighter parts episode where we use the STC.txt. You can see all of that in that episode. That's literally all that's in this house. So secondly here, we have my bunker, which is like a restaurant, um, it's like a bar basically in the, on the second floor. But up here on this very top floor, right when you walk in, we've got some Starfighter part storage. So here's some prime level 10 shields. Each one of these shields have some good statistic on them that's worth keeping. And here's just regular Starfighter shields of any level, aside from 10 that have a good statistic that's worth keeping. These are all prime starfighter parts, just random parts that all have good stats worth keeping, except this one that says maybes. These are parts that I might potentially reverse engineer that have somewhat maybe close to the best stat. Um, that is just something I may experiment with later on. Another pack for prime starfighter fart parts. Farts. And here's the droid interfaces backpack where I just put a bunch of droid interfaces because you scan these in the droid interface scanner. And this is also how you find convoys, guys. This is something that I, wanted, I left out of the convoys episode. 
you just throw five droid interfaces in here. It doesn't really matter. This is the droid interface scanner. Once it's loaded with five droid interfaces, you right click it, hit scan content, and there, we didn't find anything. I think uh, that's happened before. Let's actually try and find something this time. Let's get rid of some of these. Just to show you guys that this actually does work, because I think this is the second time I've showcased this on YouTube and it did not work. There we go, we got two convoy flight plan datas, one for a difficulty level 4 and one for a difficulty level 1. So I actually do have a spot for these, but I'm showing you starfighter parts. Here's prime level 8 starfighter shields. This is a, just a cabinet, you can't rename that, but all these, this is just all like stuff for starfighter parts. This is a project that I'm working on where I need a level 10 engine. I'm having trouble finding a good level 10, so I just have a bunch of them kind of in here. Hoping that someday I'll find one that's like what I'm looking for. So yeah, house's inventory is filled up quick. This is the bunker. Uh, let's take a look at our status here. We're at 874 items out of 1050. Back behind the bar here, I have another cabinet, which is secretly Starfighter parts. Um, I have to go through these and look at them all and make sure, but if I'm not mistaken, they all have at least one good statistic that's worth keeping. Over in this room, more Starfighter parts storage. This is another like what I have like project-wise. There's nothing in there right now because I'm not working on a secondary project. Like if I was working on armor, I would store my armor in there because I, I already have this, the engine project going on upstairs. And I actually put my convoys and stuff in this bandolier here on this mannequin. So my convoys just when I get them, they get loaded in here. And <laughs> it is silly, but I do like to keep them organized. So this is a difficulty for this one will go right here. So we got convoys 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I and mean, I've got 23 level 5 convoys. I'm going to have to iron those out at some point here. And so now the last house, which is more so my home. Which is right next door. This is where we break down the organization of starfighter parts and this is what I recommend doing for anybody who's actually a pilot and flying. Most of you probably already do this. If you're new to collecting starfighter parts and you do want to have some kind of organization, you definitely want to set it up like this. Don't worry about the prime thing in this house, I just labeled it incorrectly, but we have reactors in here, just general reactors. Shields are in this box. Weapons are in this box. Actual starfighters are in this box. So we've got a Kimogila deed in here, ETA2, a crate. These are just actual starfighters. We got boosters in this box, armor in this box. Level 8 weapons, you buy a lot of those from Cash Noons because those are the Borstal cannons, which are really great level 8 weapons. So what you do is you want to save as many level 8 weapons as you can especially if they have a good statistic. Because of that, I have three chests devoted to level 8 weapons. And let me tell you, I use these chests the most. I'm constantly reverse engineering level 8s. Like, constantly. Level 4 and 8 boosters are worth holding on to. There is a crafted booster which is superior, but if you're going to RE any booster, it's going to be a level 4 and or a level 8. Level 8, I would say, is more for a POB, but still there's POB boosters that are better. If anything, just hold on to your level 4s. Um, Starfighter engines in here. Level 7 reactors is kind of a special project. Those are actually really good reactors that kind of can do all for low mass. We got capacitors in here and level 6 reactors. Once again, sort of a special project, but uh, you gotta get some good ones, which is a little rare. Just more prime starfighter parts. Level 10 starfighter weapons. I got two chests devoted to those because that's another one that you'll craft or reverse engineer often. 
and that's it. This is a general organization starfighter part house because what happens is the other houses will fill up and I'll need spot I'll need space and if I have a good piece and I need to put it somewhere it's gonna go in this house we're already at 449 out of 500 in this house so this house also needs to be organized eventually we'll get rid of we'll go through all of these containers and label them prime and just hold on to whatever has the best statistic we can even kind of start that just briefly here. If I look at this level 10 reactor and compare it to the STC.txt, um, it's not really good. I can sell it. You know, we can start doing that. This is a level 4 reactor which actually has good armor and hit points, so we'll hang on to that. And so on. We would go through each crate just like that and hold on to like the best parts. This is basically it. I just wanted to showcase how you would organize your starfighter parts. And it's really important to have an empty house with empty chests so that if you launch out into space and you come back, you can always just throw stuff in there and go through it later and then launch back up and go do what you need to do. Short and sweet, I think we're going to call this an episode. Just quick Starfighter organization tips. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Y'all have a great time.